what I'm going to be doing today is instructing for you is how the rope goes in the bull wheels with the configuration with your reel stands or the front of the machine over the fifth wheel and then also we're going to go from the back of the machine in the second configuration and thread it this way also. From the operator's position looking out over the bull wheels the wire is going to thread left to right. So it's going to come in from the left over top from your reel stands and it's going to thread all the way to the right where it goes out over the last groove up to the structure or your pulling. For the rope instructional we're going to be doing it just opposite than that. The reason that we go opposite as you'll hear me a reference to reverse reeving with your rope is to start your rope all the way away from you and wrap it coming towards you where you're not over wrapping over yourself. In the reverse reeving application what, what we're going to do we're going to take our lead rope which will be our lead rope coming off the uh, front of the machine over the fair lead and we're going to start in the fair lead so we'll know we have enough rope to make it to the ground. So I'm going to just hand, hand coil enough rope right here maybe six to eight feet. I'm going to take it and throw it in the fair lead coming off the machine. So this would be the last thing I did if I was actually reeving the conductor. So we're starting backward, as I said, reverse reeving. Got enough conductor to make it to the ground here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to tie this conductor off to the back of the machine so I don't lose this rope in any of the process. I'm just going to put a bowling, very simple knot in the line trade where I don't lose my rope during the process. Take the rope over to fair lead, as so. I'm going to hit the first groove off the bull wheel. It's to thread it and hit every groove and you're using the machine to its potential. And the electronics, the computer, the onboard readouts, everything that the, com the computer is telling you is correct if you thread every groove. When you miss a groove or you overreave, you're actually uh, uh, hurting yourself because you're, you're, telling, you're telling the computer false information. So it can't help you to its potential if you over overreave it or underreave it. Over the machine, out the back of the machine, to the uh, reel stands. Now it's as simple as that. We have our bull wheel threaded with rope ready to receive conductor. We have our 7212 in the configuration over the fifth wheel with our reel stands out back. Now, in turn, to thread this machine, all we have to do, crank the machine before we talked about the pressure to the reel stand. Set your back tension to the reel stand. In turn, what this is doing is picking your rope or your conductor up off the ground, tailing tension. The machine's in pull mode now. You push your joystick out and thread your bull wheels with your conductor, whatever conductor it might be, from ACSR, ACSS, trap, T2, composite, fiber, whatever conductor that you're wanting to pull, because you, doesn't, you don't have to read it any differently for any different conductor. Right hand lay, left hand lay, it's all the same. So you're pushing the conductor through the bull wheels with one man holding tension, rolling your rope back up out front until your kellum is all the way through the machine and to the ground. 
At this point, you're ready to tension wire. Just that simple. You're not limited to one setup with this machine. Uh, due to right away restraints, due to uh, ease of access to set this machine up, I'm gonna show this machine read from the other direction and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Our last run that we did to go back out to our reel stands, all we're gonna do is take it off. And it, it's, it's pretty much did it for us. We took one wrap off. Now we're reeved over the rear of the machine. You go through your fair lead on the back of the machine, out the back of the machine. The only thing we're gonna do different here is we're gonna take our conductor that's on our reel stand and we're not gonna come off the top, we're gonna come off the bottom. We're plumbing our hoses out the back of the machine now through one or two or one and two, go into our reel stand, and all we're doing now is turning our wire to come off the reel stand from underneath instead of over the top. It's just that simple, folks.